Good morning. Good morning, I'm Dr. Yahia, and thank you for watching our semester video. Um, I want to wish you a happy holiday season. I want to welcome you to our classroom. This is mainly for the online students that do not come to campus. I don't want you to miss out on anything that is happening on campus. So I wanted to invite you to our monthly, our, our semester video that I like to send out via email. So the first thing I want to let you know is to remind you that we have clinicals. We have clinicals on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and you will earn clinical hours and you will receive a, a clinical certificate at the end of every semester, usually earning around 30 to 40 hours. And this is very nice addition to your resume. Um, please keep in mind that normally in a Bachelor's of Psychology, you are not earning clinical hours. That's usually, a, you know, sort of something that you do in a Master's or a Doctoral program. So it's a really nice way to start developing clinical skills. If you work and you have a day off, if you have some vacation, just pop in maybe once or twice even during the semester. You always learn something. Also note that I do post all of the videos on the YouTube channel. So if you can't make it, you can still watch the videos and gain the experience by watching these videos. Some of the stuff that we're covering, I always video the video, I always take video of the class. Like for instance, this month we're doing motivational interviewing. We're talking a little bit about addictions. We're talking about conflict and dissonance and ambivalence. And we're having a great class and we're doing some mock counselings. Um, you can learn about your nonverbals, how to ask the right questions, structure questions in counseling, how to start, how to end counseling sessions, and so forth. They're very valuable clinical sessions. It does not matter what class you are taking in your online program, clinical is always relevant because it's just clinical, it's just clinical experience. You'll also see that I have a bunch of posters around here. And what these posters are, are my own theories. One of the major things that we want to learn in psychology are the theories. And here we have a poster It is dedicated to some of the major theories. And if you're buying your books and you're reading your books, you'll realize that every single book starts with different theories. And the major ones are behavioral, cognitive, social, biological, humanistic, psychoanalytical, development, evolutionary, among others. And what we want to do is we want to understand psychology from the different theoretical perspectives. However, each and every one of us is going to practice from a different theory or theories. And we are all developing our own theories every time we meet someone, every time we go out into the world. So what I've done is I've introduced you to my theories so that you have one more set of theories to use in practice. So you'll see in the videos or if you come to clinical, the, the use of those as well. Um, you'll see that I have this table full of wonderful juicy stuff and all of these things I use as metaphor, as myth, as symbol, which is the language of the psyche. And so we're doing a lot of great stuff here that you're learning different ways. Yesterday I taught a class using these two little shoes, using feet or using shoes as a metaphor to teach clients that clients can be walking in separate directions. And if we try to walk in different directions, we'll be torn apart. So we can bring things into a counseling session, we can bring mindfulness activities, we can bring journaling activities, we can bring a lot of different metaphor into a counseling practice and teach people that there are different ways to learn and experience themselves and their psyche. We've done, some of the things that we've done this particular month are labyrinth walks. Um, I brought in a labyrinth. If you come to campus, please come see me. Remember, I'm Dr. Francis Yahia. I am your program chair. No matter what, no matter what class you're taking, I am your contact person. My email is fyahia, Y-A-H-I-A, -A, at kaiseruniversity.edu, and that's F-Y-A-H-I-A, -A at 
Kaiser University dot edu and my phone number is 954-554-6731. If you need tutoring, especially for the research methods class, experimental, um, those would tend to be the classes that students tend to struggle, but in any of the classes, I am your contact person. Please, you're in cyberspace, online classes, you are not left out there alone. I am your contact person. Please do not hesitate to contact me. Text is best, email is secondary. So please save my number, 954-554-6731 in your phone. Text me, just let me know your name. Most of you I've already emailed or texted in the past, and I will continue to do so at the end of each semester and send out these videos to make sure how you're doing and to check in. Um, so please join us at Clinicals. It's a lot of fun. And even if it's just once to try it out, I think that you'll gain a lot from it. And the main reason why I'm videoing today is for your end of semester evaluations. I must get response from each and every one of you that you are aware of your GPA and you're aware of your standing at the university. I will be sending every single one of you an email with an attachment with your particular GPA and your standing. Please respond back to me saying you received it and that you understand where you are standing in the university. Especially if you're not doing too well, I will make a note in that particular evaluation stating to reach out to me so that you can receive assistance. If you need absolutely anything, please do not hesitate to ask. This is what I am here for. Thank you very much and happy, happy holidays.